In the last video, I discussed React Router and got you started. We talked about links, routes, and the router itself, and how to install it. In this shorter video, I'm going to show you the switch. Now, we're going to start with the application we ended with last time. So if you want to go um, look at that video first, if you haven't seen it, it's the intro to React Router. And so this is what we ended with, a home page, a second page, and then a third page. And I'll remind you that these aren't technically separate web pages. We're basically just switching out uh, components that are being shown here. So these are just three virtual pages. Okay, so if we look at how we set that up, we installed uh, React Router DOM and then used the hash router, the route, and the link tags. This was the home component, and it's a pure functional component with just some HTML. The second component, same thing. And then down here, when we created the routes, we pointed the, the, the root to home component, slash second to the second component, and then we created a third component in another file just to show you how that would work. And then that's here with slash third. Now what I want to do is I want to come back and I want to take a look at this situation where if we take out the exact. So the exact there was to make sure that if we were on a, a route that matched the index route that it wouldn't show or the root route that it wouldn't show it unless it was specifically the root route. Like for example notice here slash works for home. If you go to the second page, because I removed exact slash matches home component, so it shows up. But so does slash second. It matches second component, so both show up. We used exact to keep that from happening. I'm going to show you another way of solving this problem, and that is with the uh, switch component. We can get it where it won't cause this problem anymore. Now, switch is already installed with React Router, so we can do this and just bring this in. And then down here, wrap all of these things in switch. Now, if we keep things in this order, we're not going to get what we want. So if we keep things in that order, everything is actually going to show the home component. And the reason why is the switch will use the first route matched, meaning all three of these match the root route. And so therefore, um, this is the first one that's matched, and so therefore, you'll only see this. And so if you're going to use the switch, what you have to do is change the order. And so it's essentially more specific, which is slash second or slash third, to more generic. And so now, with this in mind, the root will still do home, this one will do second, and this one will do third. And so that's how you can use the switch, uh, the, the switch route, um, or the switch component with your routes. Um, I believe it's more flexible, like for example, there's scenarios with uh, dynamic routes that you can't use the exact keyword, but you can use the switch. I haven't myself used the switch a great deal, but this is at least the basic usage of it. So uh, use the switch to basically make sure React Router picks the first matching route. And so if you go to slash third, it's not going to match this here on line 38, so therefore um, it's not going to match that and keep going. So and then it's going to check the next one, which is line 39. And it's going to match that. And so therefore, this is the component that it's going to show. It would have matched this, but it doesn't even check. Because of the switch, it's just going to stop here and use that first route that it matches. That's the idea of the switch. That's really, as far as I can tell, 